can't believe I missed that jump. Forest before, see that big tree on the left? The trees are slowly receding. Uh, ambush. I killed your whole family. Alright? Don't ambush me. <laughs> There's these things. Look, there's no puzzle here. I guess we're supposed to run away from the rabbits at this point. It's so beautiful. I think those are all rabbits as well. Like, the game doesn't really... Yeah, those are rabbits. The game doesn't shy away from having just huge areas of empty space. Why? Don't tell me we need those bunnies for the next puzzle. We might. Anyway, we're heading back to the forest if you look at the background. So, uh, there's not just platforming. I mean, there were enemies and... Wait a minute. I couldn't get the bunnies up here though, could I? How do I... Nope. Nope. How do I do this? Again? Um... I needed the bunnies to jump up, I think. Do I? Forgotten how to do this puzzle. I think. Oh wait, 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 wait. Ha! Huh. That's why that cannon is there. Alright, so now half of them are being destroyed. Now we can do this. Cool, done. So very interesting timing puzzles. And again, like to whoever designed this, we should see the credits later on. But I, I just think these puzzles are so clever. Like who thinks like that? Who thinks in terms of time? Who comes up with puzzles like these? Like, it's not a conventional puzzle, it's not like a jigsaw puzzle you put pieces together, although there's that in this game as well. It's like a word puzzle, a crossword or anything like that, or a maths puzzle. A time puzzle. A time puzzle, like... And consider that it's only possible with computer games. I mean, how can you make a time puzzle where you can reverse time if it went for computer games? You can't do it in a board game, you can't do it in a card game. It has to be this kind of, you know, this medium where you can control and you have interactivity. Like, oh crap. Oh 
Okay, I need to solve this puzzle quickly, I think. Fail. Oh, wow. I think what I need to do is... Yeah, so... So that platform is closed. I think I need the platform. Yeah, I need the platform. Let me just... Let me just come back in a bit. Wow. How do I get past the platform again? Not there. Uh, let me try this again. Okay, so if you don't reverse time to get up to here, then wow. Then the platform will come across fast enough. Wow. Alright, alright, alright. <laughs> don't get killed. And now we have to wait and avoid these guys. Triangle jump very well. I think you can tell that. I mean, I'm not very good at the platforming, but you can tell how the platforming is actually kind of difficult in this game. <laughs> right? I keep dying a lot. But once you get used to holding shift to turn back time, it becomes. You know, it becomes bearable. It doesn't become any easier. But you're not having to... Wait a minute. Oh wait, 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 that's right, that's right. But yeah, like, you're not... You're not punished for failing as such. Like, you know, you just kind of reverse a little bit and then keep going. So even though you die a lot, it's not really that much of a problem. I didn't want to do that. Can I not do that? I think there's another key down there. Wow, a hitbox. I guess it doesn't matter which... No, 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 it does matter. Yeah, I want this key first. I think. Because this key doesn't go back in time. So if I did the other one first, and I tried to do the other trick here, I can't go back to pick up the key I'm holding now, because it doesn't reverse in time. Whereas if I use this key on the first door... And then this key, which does reverse in time, on the second door, I can turn back time and get the key back. Yes. Again, like, who thinks like this? Who comes up with these puzzles? Like, you have two different keys and three doors. One of the keys don't go back in time. The other one does, then you can do... Who thinks up these things? This is so... Like, however smart you have to be to solve these puzzles, you have to be so much smarter to create them. Wow. Ambush. <laughs> oh no. Like, in most games, I would be really angry if they did something like that. But in 
this game, you see how it's just not really a problem. I mean, it's a problem for a little bit, but you can you know, get past it. Like, without having to replay the level, without having to, you know, do anything too difficult. Why is that hand like that? Um, okay, that's there. That should be that. And these, these drawings are really good as well. I kind of like them. We are two pieces short. Whoa, ambush. Again? If it weren't for that time reversal mechanism, I would hate this game. Seriously. Oh no. Is that. No, no, that's alright. That's right, that's right. I can do this. Okay, no, then do that. Yeah, so the key will stick to you. This level was called what? Layer. And the music's changed, the background's changed, we're underground for some reason. Look at that, like, those guys are falling on his head and dying, so that tells you that his head is dangerous, and I mean there's spikes on his head. Wow, look at that sound. That was really loud and really amazing. Okay, I forgot he does that. So, there's only two of these chandelier things. And you have to hit him five times. He, there's his life on. He's got a life bar at the top of the screen. And he isn't affected by time, look at that. So he's sparkling green as well. Like a, a boss fight with time mechanics and things. Like, look at this. This is so good. Okay, I can't hit him immediately because he runs away. Come, come. Yep. Fail. Keep walking this way. <laughs> Look at the animation, like stuff falling around, everything's broken. The poor guy's dead. Oh no, what's up bro? Are you okay? Are you okay? What's up? Key. Do I need these guys? come this way? No, I don't. So that's your boss, the first boss fight. <laughs>